Alright friends, welcome back to another video on building real-time messaging platform with Laravel and Liveware. So in this video, we'll be fixing some of the issues and also adding one functionality on user section where we can select a specific users to chat with. So let me select this users to do the conversation and it is redirected to messages page and we can simply send the message to him, right? And if we want to chat with another users, then we can simply go to users table select the users to chat with and this user got selected and we can send the message to him okay and if there are not any messages or conversation then it will display that empty state page so first of all let me delete the messages from messages table let me delete messages and let me go to conversations and delete the conversation as well and now if I refresh this page and it is displaying this page where it is saying you don't have any messages click the button below to select the users to chat with right and if we click over here then we can simply select the users to do the conversation so let's get started first of all if i click on messages tab over here we are getting this message called undefined variable called conversation so let's fix this first and it is your list conversation in messages so list conversation and messages .blade.ph. and over here let me go to the top and let's wrap this inside of if else conditions so so if the conversations is not empty conversations is not empty then we'll display this section otherwise we'll display another section here and if okay and if I refresh this uh, we are not getting that error right and instead of displaying this text let's display that empty state design so I have already designed that so it is inside of stops and empty state dot html and let me copy this section from here and paste it over here and for the image i have already added the image inside of public images and open message.png so if i go to public images and there is already this image called open message.png okay now if i refresh this page and we are getting this beautiful empty state design with this message called you do not have any messages yet and also it is saying that click the button below to select the users to chat with so if i click on this button we are redirected to this user space right and now let's add the icon over here so that we can select the users to do the conversation right so let's do this part let me go to list users.blade.php file and over here first of all let's wrap this name inside of span and let's add another anchor tag over here And inside of this, let's add that icon. FA, FA, comments. And now if I refresh this, we get this icon. So let's give some margin. Class, margin right to. Also, let's make this as text secondary text secondary and this is fine so instead of margin right from this anchor tag we need to add over here refresh it and this is fine now let's listen for that click event using wire click so over here let's do wire click prevent the default behavior and call the method called start conversation and we'll be passing user ID okay and we need to define this method in our list users component class so let me go to list users.psp and at the end let me define that method public function start conversation will be receiving user id let's die and dump here 
we refresh it if i click over here then we are displaying that message right this is perfect instead of die and dump let's redirect the users to messages page so for that we can simply do return redirect to admin slash messages okay and if i refresh it if i click here then we are redirected to this page so instead of just redirecting the users we need to start the conversation and then redirect right so let's do that part so to start the conversation let's do conversation let's use first or create method so here we are using first or create because if there is already a conversation then we'll get that conversation otherwise we'll create the new conversation so for that we need to specify the field and values and let's specify that sender id is authenticated user id and the receiver id is this user id which is the selected user id right so here we are saying that if there is already a conversation with this sender id and receiver id then we will get that conversation otherwise we will create a new conversation with these entries right let me save this and then refresh it and if i click on this one and it is saying that add sender id to fillable property so let me go to conversation and over here let's disable that mass assignment guarded as empty array and let me try one more time click here and we are redirected to messages also we are having the conversation as well and if we go to conversations table we have this entry right which is perfect let me go to users click it again and we have this conversation but we don't have that entry because we already have that entry for sender id and receiver id if we select another user then we have this another entry and this is also added on our database right but there is another issue let me show you that so if we want to chat with this specific user then currently this one is selected so instead of selecting this it is good to select this one right so that it will be more intuitive right so let's do that part so let me go to list users and on the redirect section let's redirect the user with the session variable with selected conversation as this conversation and let's define this variable here and let's go to list conversation and messages.psp component class and on the mount method let's add one conditions so we can simply check if the session has selected conversation if the session has selected conversation then we'll return with this selected conversation is the session selected conversation right so here we are saying that if there is a selected conversation on our session then we'll store that in selected conversation and just wait and let me try this if we go to users let me select this specific user and this one got selected now we can simply send the message to him which is perfect so this much for this video i hope this video was helpful for you so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one